Welcome once again to Octane Mobile Gaming. So we're going to have a look at my draw for this morning. And um, didn't really get much anyway. But we're going to have a look at it. So first up, uh, loads of rubbish. Then a support card, which is okay. Then pure rubbish after that. Absolute rubbish. 900 dust, master dust, which is... Um, Okay, 1500 dust would have been much better, but it is what it is anyway, so I'm not complaining. Up next is my second draw, which really and truly wasn't much better than my first draw. I got a six, I managed to get a six star Elaine, which I've got quite a few Elaine, so not really enthusiastic about that. Uh, what I would have been enthusiastic about would have been a rare relic to cross craft a ultimate relic but it is what it is anyway sorry about last week I didn't get to make a video because uh, it's a bit hectic at work at the moment so uh, I haven't got a lot of free time and it does take quite a bit of effort to actually make these YouTube video the event last week was quite good I did manage to get the complete deck didn't do very well because as I said I didn't have much time so I didn't play the event as much as how I would like it we did get quite a lot of keys which was quite surprising we had keys coming out of our ears so thumbs up to the network for that thank you network you gave us much more keys than we can actually manage so that was my draw let's jump right into the deck and we're gonna have a look at the ultimate form which is this one it's just like this particularly particular ultimate um ultimate form this is spirit united from a previous dark slayer event it's a dark bounty card it does spawn um dark power gems but you have to have the hunt active and hunt is actually provided courtesy of the ultra rare or the support card so with an ultra rare auto support card this ultimate form is just a gem spawner which i do not like however if you take a look at the card like this one the defiant duet it's a card that depends on the ultra rare or a card any card that actually does a turn delay which makes it a brilliant card so you can put any card with this particular ultimate form any card that actually does a turn delay if you want to tap into the, its ability to spawn an extra two power gem fours but it can do it itself because it actually does a turn delay as an ultimate form which makes it a brilliant ultimate form this is a really good ultimate form it's an ultimate form that depends on other cards but it does do it does fulfill the criteria itself which makes it absolutely magnificent i don't like cards that and never like master collection cards or ultimate form that depends on other cards so for me this ultimate form and um, spirits united aren't very good this one spawns seven light gems and if the way is active it spawns seven power gem fours which isn't a lot of power gems anyway it has a charge rate of five gems and it has a cooldown of one so you can spawn gems every turn which makes it primarily a gem spawner it does have two um, passive however but they don't really make up for the fact that it isn't a brilliant master a, a brilliant ultimate form the first passive is shogun's blessing which will cleanse up to four enemy debuff from a hero at the beginning of the next turn and this will increase it will start at one debuff then it will increase by one additional debuff every 100 slayer skill point it has a second passive which is um destiny's n which will increase the damage output of your light slayer deck and this will start at 12 percent and increase by an additional 12 percent per 100 slayer skill point now those two um mechanics the two passive makes it makes it um quite an okay ultimate form but not a brilliant ultimate form if it could actually power up itself with these two passive it would make it 
an absolutely brilliant ultimate form so for me personally even if i had the gems or the dust i wouldn't go for this deck because i don't think it's a brilliant deck i think it falls very short comparing to other decks that we have seen recently this is the master collection card which is well it's a what would you say a low counterpart to the ultimate form it does spawn seven light gems as well and seven power gems if the way is active it's got the passive shogun's blessing which cleanses up to four enemy debuff from one era which uh, starts at one debuff and then it increase as your slayer skill point increases so every 100 slayer skill point it will cleanse one additional debuff till it gets up for four debuff as a master collection card i think it's okay it's not brilliant but it's okay it's far better than the ultimate form because the ultimate form should be the mvp of the deck anyway it should do far more and be far more powerful as a damage dealer yes but as a card within itself nah it's not really good so i think the master collection card is better than the ultimate form now the ultra rare the ultra rare is one of the cards that will power up your ultimate form it heals for four thousand percent of era recovery at the beginning of your next turn if uh, this era attacks while this skill is active it will spawn five power gem twos and apply the way status for one turn the charge rate is 10 the cooldown is four so it has a far it has one less cooldown than its previous than its dark counterpart it's got the passive destiny's end which will increase your damage output now combining say two ultra rare with the ultimate form um won't make the deck better but it will increase the damage output however your deck will not on its own will not put out that much damage because it doesn't produce a lot of power gems so the deck you can see that the deck itself is not a brilliant deck so we're gonna have a look now at your support card now the support card is just like the support card of the dark counterpart it will heal for two two thousand percent of hero recovery at the beginning of your next turn if this hero attacks while the skill is active it will spawn two power gem once and apply the way status for one turn it hasn't got a passive but um what i would say two power gems is okay but not enough for a support card if it actually spawned two power gems and three um gems it would have been much better now the deck itself is a three turn deck uh comparing to other decks that we got out there because I'm not gonna use this deck because I haven't got it. If I even could craft it, I wouldn't. The deck that I've got is a two-turn deck, and I think it's much quicker. It's not gonna be as much pop. Uh, it's not gonna be as powerful as this particular deck because uh, it's the event for this deck. But my deck will still be a far better deck than this particular deck. Uh, this is your event card, and your event card is um, a less powerful copy of the master collection card it will spawn four light gems and if the way is active it will spawn four power gem ones it doesn't have a passive but as i said it's not really good it's also a warrior it's not that high damage output it's got high health as you can see uh, uh, on the stats for this particular card so it's not a brilliant card as i said the deck is not really a brilliant deck i'm really and truly not impressed by this deck and i really don't like deck like these ones should you go for the deck no should you invest in this deck no if you did however get the cards required to craft the ultimate form from the first three tiers of the pack i would say congratulations do craft it do see if you can finish as high as possible on this the solar leaderboard but uh to invest in this deck i don't think this deck is a very good investment now saying that 
it's got magnificent artwork i really and truly love the artwork on this particular deck and um the artwork is magnificent i must say that artwork is very lovely i love the artwork for the ultra rare the ultra rare artwork i think is quite spectacular this is the ultra rare as you can see i love the colors the colors are absolutely vibrant we love the artwork now we are entering into well we're quite close to christmas we uh in a few days i think tomorrow is halloween and we have got our halloween deck from last week which was an absolutely smashing deck i really enjoy playing with the deck it's quite powerful quite quick as a commander deck i think it's the best commander deck that i've seen in a long long time the new halloween mechanics is absolutely brilliant now this is the ultimate relic as i was saying and it's got ultimate rejuvenation and that is very good so it, he it will heal for two percent of maximum hp per slayer ultimate relic and if your health falls below 50 percent hp it will double the heal which is absolutely brilliant so it's a really good ultimate relic that we got for this week it's the only thing i see this week that's really good now i've never really speak i've never really gone too deep into the proving ground but the proving ground is a really really good event it la it starts on a friday and it ends on a tuesday and i would say to you do take part in the proving ground it's really important that you play the proving ground every single day now you collect tokens and those tokens you can craft into one choice token a choice token costs ten thousand uh ordinary coins once you get 10,000 10, ordinary coins, you can craft one cho choice token, which you can purchase either a master collection card or a ultra rare. Now, there's quite a few master collection cards that I've got that I require ultra rare to make them into ultimate forms, particularly um, Umbrella Rook. Now, Umbrella Rook is a card that I really desired for a long time to... Um, craft the ma the ultimate form i uh, have i've got um loudon and i've had loudon for a while so i'm up to seven thousand eight hundred um tokens at the moment and i'm just waiting for the next proving ground to start in two days time and by tuesday i should be able to craft a mast a ultimate form using my choice token to get umbrella rook now they are changing the way how we craft uh, old, the first generation of ultimate forms, which usually consume the cards. They are going to make it uh, across the board where all ultimate forms are crafted using souls. So, if you do manage to get um, the cards from the proving ground save them until the update comes out then you can use souls and you can keep your cards okay so that's all i've got for you today because um i'm actually pressed for time but do like do subscribe do watch out for the next video tomorrow when we do our possible deck combos i uh, missed you guys last week do apologize like subscribe and as always this is acting saying peace and have a great day Bye for now.